China has recently delivered on their words and finally funded over $3.8 billion railway in Kenya. That the expansion of infrastructure, particularly the railway system, from Mombasa to Nairobi and now extended to Nivasha, marks a significant milestone for Kenya. This development not only enhances domestic connectivity, but also sparks conversations on a broader scale, encompassing countries like Uganda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, and even beyond, to regions like Brazil. The discourse shifts towards intercontinental connectivity, pondering how to bridge the East with the West. Kenya's leap in infrastructure prompts other nations to contemplate similar endeavors. They look to Kenya for lessons and seek inclusion in this burgeoning success story. The notion that Kenya could potentially thrive without heavy reliance on Western partners for trade challenges the traditional narrative of dependency perpetuated by historical dynamics. The involvement of China in constructing a colossal railway project worth $3.8 billion reflects a new chapter in Kenya's development trajectory. This railway isn't merely a conduit for transportation. It symbolizes a gateway for trade, extending its reach to neighboring countries and eventually spanning continents, reaching as far as Europe. The magnitude of this project has stirred curiosity and even apprehension in the West. Questions arise regarding its geopolitical implications, its potential to reshape trade routes, and its impact on global power dynamics. The railway's extensive coverage underscores its significance, not just for Kenya, but for the entire African continent. The Kenya Standard Gauge Railway SGR, a colossal infrastructure project, represents a pivotal juncture in Kenya's transportation landscape and economic trajectory. Stretching an impressive 3,800 kilometers, this railway is not merely a conduit for connecting Kenyan cities, but transformative link binding nations across the region. Rooted in history, the concept of a modern railway system in Kenya traces back to the British colonial era with the construction of the Kenya-Uganda Railway in the late 19th century. However, the passage of time rendered the antiquated meter-gauge railway system inadequate, impeding Kenya's economic aspirations. In response, the Kenyan government embarked on the ambitious SDR project, envisioned as a remedy to transportation challenges and a catalyst for unprecedented growth. The SGR unfolds in phases, each strategically designed to achieve specific objectives and catalyze diverse impacts on the nation's economy and society. The inaugural phase centered on the construction of the Mombasa Nairobi railway line, spanning approximately 609 kilometers. This segment not only enhances connectivity between the two vital economic hubs, but also serves as a harbinger of progress symbolizing Kenya's commitment to modernization and infrastructural advancement. Beyond mere physical connectivity, the SDR embodies Kenya's aspirations for regional integration and economic dynamism. By linking Kenyan cities and extending its reach to neighboring countries, the railway fosters trade, facilitates movement of goods and people, and nurtures a sense of shared prosperity across borders. The completion of the Mombasa Nairobi section in 2017 marked a watershed moment in Kenya's transportation landscape, significantly slashing travel time and costs between the bustling port city of Mombasa and the vibrant capital Nairobi. This segment stands as a testament to Kenya's commitment to modernizing its infrastructure, boasting state of the art features such as a standard gauge track and an electrified railway system. Beyond mere convenience, this section represents a leap forward in bolstering Kenya's economic competitiveness and fostering regional connectivity. Building upon the success of the initial phase, attention shifted inland with the commencement of the Nairobi Navasha section, covering approximately 120 kilometers. This extension, operationalized in 2018, serves as a vital artery linking the economic powerhouse of Nairobi with Naivasha, a pivotal node for trade and commerce. By enhancing connectivity within Kenya's heartland, this segment facilitates the seamless movement of goods and people, catalyzing economic activity and regional integration. The grand vision of the SDR extends beyond the confines of Kenya's borders, with proposed expansions like the Naivasha Kisumu and Kisumu Malaba sections poised to further fortify Kenya's links with neighboring nations. These expansions not only bolster trade, but also promote regional cooperation and economic synergy.
However, the SGR's burgeoning success has ruffled feathers in Western corridors due to its role in enhancing Kenya's independence in trade. By diversifying its trade partners and reducing reliance on traditional Western markets, the SGR emerges as a potent symbol of Kenya's assertiveness on the global stage. The reluctance of the West to embrace the SGR project stems from a historical inclination towards maintaining African countries' dependence. However, this time, Kenya's determined pursuit of self-reliance and economic empowerment through the SGR marks a significant departure from the status quo. Crucially, the SGR is intricately linked to the Belt and Road Initiative BRI. China's ambitious framework aimed at enhancing connectivity and fostering economic cooperation across continents. Kenya's participation in the BRI underscores the strategic significance of the SGR in driving regional integration and trade facilitation. Integration into the BRI offers Kenya a plethora of benefits. Firstly, the SDR aligns with the overarching objectives of the initiative, focusing on improving infrastructure connectivity along the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. By bolstering transportation links through projects like the SGR, Kenya can seamlessly integrate into global supply chains, attracting investment and enhancing its economic autonomy and competitiveness on a global scale. Moreover, the BRI provides Kenya with access to a vast network of participating countries, fostering the expansion of trade relationships and the diversification of export markets. As an integral component of the BRI framework, the SGR positions Kenya as a pivotal node in the evolving global economic landscape, amplifying its geopolitical significance and influence. The BRI has stirred unease among Western powers, who view its growing influence in Kenya with suspicion. This apprehension is rooted in concerns over China's expanding footprint in Africa and the potential geopolitical implications of the initiative. Historically, Western dominance in global economic institutions has allowed them to wield considerable influence over international trade and development assistance. The rise of alternative frameworks like the BRI challenges this status quo, affording countries like Kenya greater autonomy in shaping their development paths. This shift unsettles Western actors accustomed to maintaining control over global affairs. Additionally, the BRI deviates from the traditional Western approach to development assistance, which often comes with stringent conditions and demands for political and economic reforms. In contrast, China's engagement through the BRI offers a more flexible and inclusive cooperation model, focusing on infrastructure development and economic integration without imposing ideological or governance-related prerequisites. As a flagship project under the BRI, the SDR epitomizes principles of mutual benefit and cooperation. By providing essential infrastructure investment and facilitating trade, the SGR supports Kenya's socioeconomic progress while strengthening ties with China and other BRI partners. By embracing the opportunities presented by the BRI, Kenya asserts its aspirations for economic independence and self-determination. The SGR project represents a significant stride towards charting a prosperous future, free from the constraints imposed by traditional Western actors. The resistance from the West to Africa's engagement with China and initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, underscores a historical tendency to maintain dependency among African nations. However, this paradigm is shifting as African countries, including Kenya, assert their agency in choosing partners that offer tangible benefits rather than exploitation. The Kenya SGR stands as a testament to this newfound agency, representing the most ambitious transportation infrastructure project in the nation's post-independence history. Engineered with the aim of revolutionizing domestic and international transportation, the SGR aligns closely with the developmental goals outlined in Kenya Vision 2030, seeking to propel economic growth and development. The completion of Phase 1, linking Mombasa and Nairobi, in May 2017 marked a significant milestone. Currently fully operational with 14 freight and 4 passenger trains in service, the Nairobi Mombasa SGR has already surpassed its container transportation targets for 2025, achieving an 8-year goal within just one year, an achievement worthy of attention and praise.
The remarkable success of the SGR is poised to yield swift and substantial positive impacts on the Kenyan economy. Forecasts suggest that the SGR's contribution could expedite the realization of its goal to increase the country's GDP by 1.5%, potentially outpacing initial projections. Since its inception, the SGR project has been a cornerstone of economic development, providing a multitude of benefits to Kenya and its citizens. One of the most notable advantages is the creation of employment opportunities, from construction workers laying down the tracks to the professionals stationed at the numerous SGR stations, over 2,000 individuals are directly employed in various capacities. This has not only reduced unemployment rates, but has also injected vitality into the labor market. But the impact of the SGR goes beyond direct employment. The increased demand for goods and services along the railway line has spurred entrepreneurial endeavors particularly in sectors such as catering and entertainment. This ripple effect has generated even more job opportunities, driving economic growth and prosperity. Furthermore, the SDR has acted as a catalyst for industrialization. The demand for construction-related materials like cement, steel, and aggregates has soared, boosting growth in these sectors. This surge in demand has not only created jobs, but has also stimulated economic activity across the board. Additionally, the enhanced transportation infrastructure provided by the SGR has revolutionized trade and commerce in Kenya. By facilitating the efficient movement of goods, the railway network has opened up new markets and trading routes, thus expanding opportunities for businesses across various sectors. This has laid the foundation for the proliferation of manufacturing and processing facilities, further fueling economic growth and development. The implementation of the new railway line in East Africa, specifically the SGR, marks a significant milestone in the region's transportation landscape. Notably, transportation expenses for goods imported and exported in East Africa currently constitute a substantial 40% of total cargo charges. However, the introduction of the SGR has triggered a notable decrease in transportation costs, primarily driven by economies of scale. A single SGR train can now efficiently transport 216 20-foot containers in one trip, a task that would typically require a staggering 108 trucks. This not only streamlines logistics, but also significantly reduces costs associated with road transport. Moreover, the SDR has slashed travel time while mitigating common issues such as accidents and cargo theft, thereby further contributing to the overall reduction in the cost of doing business. Beyond cost savings, the construction of the SGR is poised to catalyze the development of trading centers at each of its 33 stations. This strategic move is expected to invigorate economic activities in existing towns and stimulate growth across vital sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, tourism, and financial services. Furthermore, the establishment of trading centers along the SDR route is anticipated to spur urbanization in surrounding regions, potentially giving rise to new cities and markets. This urbanization process is expected to attract tourists, a sector crucial to Kenya's GDP. Particularly noteworthy is the timing of the SGR's completion amidst declining international rivals due to security concerns highlighting its potential to rejuvenate the tourism industry. The introduction of a cost-effective, comfortable, fast, and secure mode of transportation to Mombasa has sparked a notable increase in domestic and international tourism to the region. This influx of visitors presents Kenya with a significant opportunity to bolster its regional trade networks. With its strategic proximity to three landlocked countries, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi, Efficient clearance at the Mombasa port, coupled with reduced transportation costs and expedited delivery of goods via the SGR, positions Kenya as the preferred entry point and export route for these nations. This development has the potential to profoundly impact the country's economy, as Kenya stands to emerge as a pivotal trade hub for Africa. However, amidst Kenya's strides in enhancing its transportation infrastructure and positioning itself as a regional economic powerhouse, a narrative propagated by certain Western media outlets and political commentators has emerged, casting doubt on the motives behind the SGR project. 
This narrative suggests that the SGR is a debt trap orchestrated by China to extend its influence over Kenya and other African nations. Yet a deeper analysis reveals a more nuanced reality that challenges this oversimplified portrayal. The concern surrounding the SGR project in Kenya largely stems from the significant loans secured by the Kenyan government from China to finance the endeavor. Critics raise apprehensions that these loans, amounting to a substantial portion of Kenya's GDP, may lead to unsustainable debt levels, potentially ensnaring the country in a cycle of economic dependency on China. Furthermore, there are fears that such indebtedness could be exploited by China to exert undue political influence over Kenya, thereby jeopardizing its sovereignty. However, it is crucial to note that China's historical track record does not align with these apprehensions. Unlike certain Western nations known for leveraging debt as a tool for political influence, China has refrained from such practices. This stark contrast underscores China's commitment to fostering mutually beneficial partnerships with its global collaborators. Maintaining its reputation as a reliable and trustworthy partner is paramount for China, particularly given the extensive scale of its international projects, such as the Belt and Road Initiative BRI. Utilizing debt as a means of coercion would not only undermine China's collaborative efforts, but also risk tarnishing its global standing and jeopardizing the success of its multi-trillion dollar initiatives. Moreover, China's approach to engagement with African nations, including Kenya, emphasizes the principle of mutual benefit. In stark contrast to traditional Western aid and investment models characterized by conditionalities aimed at advancing Western interests, China prioritizes win-win cooperation. This approach aims to foster sustainable development and economic growth while respecting the sovereignty and autonomy of partner nations. African nations now hold agency in determining their development priorities, with China providing crucial support in infrastructure, trade, and investment sectors. Despite this, the West persists in portraying China's involvement in Africa, including projects like the Standard Gauge Railway SGR, as detrimental to the continent's interests. However, the era of Western dominance in dictating Africa's fate has passed. Historically, European colonizers exploited African territories, focusing on resource extraction and labor exploitation while neglecting investments in local infrastructure or beneficial development projects. This exploitation perpetuated cycles of poverty and dependency among African communities. China's emergence as a significant player in Africa marks a paradigm shift in the continent's global relations. Unlike colonial powers, China's investment in infrastructure projects like the SGR offers African countries an alternative to aid-dependent models imposed by Western donors. By providing essential infrastructure and investment without political conditions, China empowers African nations to pursue their development agendas autonomously. The BRI plays a pivotal role in this dynamic. Kenya, for instance, has experienced tangible improvements in the lives of its citizens through the successful implementation of BRI projects. The initiative not only enhances Kenya's infrastructure, but also strengthens its position in negotiations with Western partners. By diversifying its international partnerships, Kenya can mitigate dependencies on Western aid and assert its sovereignty in shaping its developmental trajectory. The BRI has emerged as a transformative force in Kenya attracting a multitude of Chinese investors and providing hundreds of young Kenyan students with opportunities to study in China, many of them on scholarships. This influx of investment and educational opportunities underscores the deepening ties between China and Kenya, fostering mutually beneficial exchanges in various sectors. One of the key contributions of the BRI in Kenya has been the acceleration of the adoption of Chinese technology tailored to address local challenges. Chinese firms have played a pivotal role in constructing critical infrastructure such as ports, railway lines, and modernizing airports across Kenya over the past decade. These projects have not only facilitated economic growth, but have also driven business activities to meet the evolving demands of various industries. Peter Kagwanja, CEO of the Africa Policy Institute, highlights the rapid benefits accruing to Kenya's business and service sectors as a result of improved infrastructure facilitated by the BRI.
The introduction of the Standard Gauge Railway SGR, has notably revolutionized travel between Nairobi and Mombasa, offering convenience and affordability to tourists and commuters alike. Since its inception, the SGR has witnessed significant usage, transporting millions of passengers and tons of cargo annually. Additionally, infrastructure projects like the Nairobi Expressway, constructed by Chinese contractors, have alleviated traffic congestion in Kenya's capital, demonstrating the effectiveness of public-private partnerships in addressing infrastructure challenges. The BRI has not only revolutionized transportation efficiency, but has also catalyzed economic growth along key trade routes in Kenya. Moreover, it has facilitated a significant exchange of knowledge and skills between Chinese experts and their Kenyan counterparts, fostering innovation and progress in various sectors. Collaborations with Chinese firms have allowed Kenya to adopt modern technology and innovative approaches to development projects, leading to the efficient execution of infrastructure initiatives. Additionally, the BRI has propelled the growth of Kenya's digital economy by improving internet connectivity, modernizing telecommunication systems, and promoting e-commerce platforms. Partnerships between Chinese tech giant Huawei and local companies like Safaricom have yielded groundbreaking innovations in mobile money transfer systems, empowering businesses and consumers alike. Furthermore, Chinese investment in Kansas Technopolis, Kenya's technology city, underscores a commitment to bolstering the nation's digital infrastructure and positioning it as a hub for technological innovation in Africa. In the agricultural sector, China's support has been instrumental in modernizing Kenya's agricultural practices. This support has led to increased productivity and addressed food insecurity by facilitating advancements in seed breeding, disease control, and sustainable farming practices through collaborative efforts between Chinese and Kenyan institutions. The establishment of the Sino-Africa Joint Research Center at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology has played a pivotal role in fostering collaborations aimed at enhancing food security and environmental sustainability in Kenya. Through joint research endeavors, significant strides have been made in increasing crop productivity and developing resilient agricultural systems tailored to local conditions. This collaboration between China and Kenya not only advances mutual interests, but also serves as a testament to the effectiveness of win-win relations, distancing African countries like Kenya from the exploitative practices of the West. Despite persistent propaganda, the progress of the railway project in Kenya stands as a tangible example of successful collaboration between China and African nations. Functional sections of the railway have been operational for years, demonstrating the tangible benefits of infrastructural development facilitated by Chinese investments. This success challenges Western narratives that collaboration with China inevitably leads to exploitation, highlighting the potential for mutually beneficial partnerships under the BRI. Indeed, the BRI presents a valuable opportunity for African countries to connect with the rest of the world and facilitate trade and economic growth. Kenya, with its strategic location, stands to benefit immensely from enhanced connectivity and infrastructure development. Engaging with the BRI can unlock new avenues for economic development and prosperity, empowering Kenya to fully harness its potential as a regional economic powerhouse. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe so you don't miss out on another video.